It's my pleasure to introduce you, of course. We have Dr. Strange himself, Mr. Benedict Cumberbatch. We got Nebula playing for us by Ms. Karen Gillis. And of course, the director of Avengers Infinity War, Mr. Joe Russo. Wow. Wow, hey guys. Hey guys, hey, I'm, I'm Justin, it's so nice to meet you. Hi, Chelsea, what's up, Justin, how are you? They said my name, wow! It's <laughs> man. Thank you, thank you so much for uh, for agreeing to Woo! sit down with us and, uh, and to talk to us. Can you just wave at your fans again? They're freaking out over here. Yeah, some great costumes there. Yes. Spider-Man, Captain America. Yeah. Yeah, we got we got some Captain Americas. We also have, of course, have Doctor Strange over there. We got two Doctor Stranges. <laughs> oh, we even got a Stan Lee over here. So. All right, guys, we'd like to ask you to settle down because we want to make sure that we hear everything that they say, okay? So again, please sit down and chill out. We have some time with with Joe and Benedict and, uh, and Karen, of course. And uh, we have some, we have three, we have three people. <laughs> <laughs> He's here? Oh, no, you're right here. Oh, look at that. We got this Surprising the most in terms of the, their impact on the story, and without giving too much away, can you expound on it? Oh boy, um, <laughs> that's yeah, that's a tough question because uh, obviously Thanos demands your silence. Uh, 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 so let me uh, let me think about this. Um, you know, it's interesting. I don't know if any one character. Uh, has has a singular impact. I would say that the point of this film is that this is the culmination of ten years of storytelling. All of the characters uh, get together for the first time, and I think the real impact of the movie for for me, uh, and I think for audiences, will be uh, the 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 chemistry between all of the characters, uh, and, uh, and I think that's going to be the most exciting part of it. Um, and uh, so get ready uh, uh, to see all your favorite characters uh, together for the very first time in one film. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you so much, Joe. And uh, I believe that uh, Thanos' order to keep things silent is, is, is still good. Okay, we're good. Up next, we have uh, the, the next question is for Karen Dillon. Hi, uh, Karen. And Hi. In, in the audience, we have someone also named Karen. So, ladies and gentlemen, here's Karen Kuhn. Excited, Karen. Hi, Karen. Good morning. <laughs> so, Nebula is such a nuanced character. Um, I'd like to know how she has evolved from Guardians 1 to Avengers Infinity War without giving too much away. Okay, you're giving anything away. Your energy is great. She won the prize. Coffee. Yeah. Excitement. I'm excited. Coffee. So Nebula has definitely evolved um, a lot over the course of these movies. In the first 
Guardians movie, you know, she was very much a villain, um, you know, she was on the bad side. Um, and then in the second Guardians movie, we got to learn a little bit about her backstory um, and her whole upbringing with Thanos, and it was quite an abusive relationship, and she's come out of that very <coughs> tremendous and bitter. Um, and that's definitely going to come into play um, in, in the Avengers film. Um, what can I say without saying anything? Um, uh, I think that it's definitely going to be, you know, she has a very um, specific terrible relationship with her father, Thanos, so she has a very strong agenda to take him down, and it's going to be quite a cathartic experience for her, I think. Thank you, Karen. Good morning. Karen, Karen, connection. I know. <laughs> so, whatever coffee you're drinking, you gotta send it to her. Yeah. Okay, and uh, last but not least, we have our next question is for uh, Mr. Benedict Cumberbatch. Hello, Benedict. Uh, let's please welcome Mr. Aaron and Hi, uh, Hey, hey, Benedict. First of all, um, from everyone in the Philippines, we love you, man. We love you. Um, my, my question is that uh, in the MCU, it seems like the two personalities that are pretty much most alike are yours, yeah. Doctor Strange, and Tony Stark. One is, do you agree? And two is, how is the dynamic both on screen and off screen with both of you guys? I think you're right. I think I do agree. Uh, you know, the two super egotistical and uh, very glorious. Yeah, definitely the two go teams. Come on. Um, but they're also men of science, they're men of logic, and Strange has this meeting with mysticism in an attempt to heal himself. As you saw in the origin story, so that skews his science and his mind towards something that's more universal and inclusive and cosmologic, the universe, the multiverse. And Stark is, is earthbound, he's traumatized by what. It, that isn't earthly in his experience as an Avenger. So, yeah, to stand those two people in the room and watch the fireworks was uh, one of the great joys of doing this job for me. And also, not only that, like you say, does that depend on is there any real chemistry? Well, yes, Harley Jones is God, and a, a you know a supreme being and uh, an incredibly generous being uh, who takes everyone under his um, his wing. He just he's he's inclusive. He shares all the spoils of his of his you know. The circus around him, he, he just shares everything. He's incredibly generous. Naturally, so it's a comedic environment. You eat together and talk together and party together, and it just makes the whole thing feel even more like a family. And that works great for a set where you have brilliant directors like Joe and, um, and Anthony, who are just, with all of the toys and all of the success and all the power that this movie making brings, it boils down to being with people like that, people like Danny and Karen. Having fun, you have to be free to fail. You have to feel you can, you know, pitch something that's going to just fall flat and then try again and try. And when you're surrounded by people with such good taste and abilities, it's not you. It's a dream. Cable, it's easy, very fun. All right, well, thank you. And again, Manila loves all three of you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, now uh, again, we don't want to take too much of your time. So, Karen, Benedict, Joe. Do you guys have uh, any last uh, last messages for your Filipino audience? I guess let's start with, uh, with Benedict. I love the guy in the Iron Man suit. He keeps sort of doing the, the sort of ten at the back. And like, <laughs> <laughs> he takes out the end. He's, he's popping the crowd right there, and it's great. But listen, all of you are fantastic. That reception, the, the noise, the, the energy in that room. It, it, we may be looking at a TV screen, which is a bit cold, but it yeah. properly warms up when you guys are on it. So thank you. I think on behalf of the Philippines, we can say thank you, Benedict. Up next, uh, okay, uh, Karen, do we have any words from you? Um, I hope all of you guys over there uh, enjoy the movie. I'm actually going to book a flight over there um, just to drink that coffee. <laughs> All right, I'll be with Karen. Jill! Yes, uh, fans, the best fans in the world. Uh, uh, thank you guys so much for such a, such a warm welcome. 
Um, get ready, get excited. Uh, if you've been invested in the Marvel Universe for the last 10 years, this is it. This is the big finish. Uh, and uh, and be, be, be excited to watch it because you're going to get to see all of your favorite characters together. So have Woo! fun with it. Thank you guys so much, and on behalf of the Philippines, we just want to thank you guys for putting in so much work because we really appreciate this movie, this franchise. We love all you guys. We can't wait to see the film. Okay, now, if we can trouble you for a selfie, we're all going to take a picture. We have a camera set up all the way up there. And uh, you guys are going to be on the screen, we're going to be down here, and we're going to bump up the pixels and, and try to see everyone's faces here, okay? So, are you guys ready to have a selfie of Weepy with, with yes. the guests? All right, guys, stand up. Uh, all right, you got the science city book here. Got to make it foolproof, right? Over there. We're all gonna say Avengers. In three, two. Okay, remember your hero poses, okay? Hero poses in three and Avengers. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. 